Hey guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and I'm really excited. Today is another collaboration with a friend of mine, Emily Jessica. I will have her Instagram as well as her YouTube linked down below. You should definitely also go check out her Instagram because she posts the most beautiful photos of looks that she's done, and she's just so beautiful. Um, we met on Instagram a few months ago. We get along really, really well, and we just decided to do a collab today. So we both discovered that we both own the Juvia's Place um, Zulu palette, which looks like this right here on the outside. I'm sure you guys have all seen it, but I'll show it to you anyhow. This is the inside. Mine is very well loved. So we're going to do a palette bingo. I think this is her first palette bingo, so I'm excited. We're going to choose four shades. So I'm going to do that really quick first. Um, and then we'll get into it. So I know that this is Blush Tribe week and I will still be doing my Blush Tribe videos. Um, I just had a few collabs that were already planned and I didn't want to move them around or cancel them. So I'm still going to go through all of the Blush Tribe, um, palettes, but I just have a couple of breaks in between and there will be a few days where there are two videos because of that. So all right, let's see, random number generator. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. I just use it through Google. You can also go to random.org. Um, so this palette has nine shades. So I'm gonna go from, you know, the orange to the brown, to the, da, 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 like that. So I'll put nine as the maximum and I'm gonna hit generate right here. This is my old phone, so I have to use a stylus in order to do anything. So the um, first number is two. So right there. So we got the yellow. So the only two shades in this palette that I'm hoping I don't get is the brown and this pink right here. Those are just not my favorite shades in the palette, but um, this is a really nice yellow. I'm going to attempt to swatch them. I have long sleeves on, of course, and then I'm a terrible swatcher. So, okay. And then I'm going to hit generate again. And we got number eight. So that is the reddish pink shade. It looks red in the pan, but sometimes when you blend it out, it can look like more on the pink side, but it's apparently swatching very red, so that's good. Um, and then I'm gonna hit generate again, number five. So, oh wow, okay. So this is gonna be an interesting look. So that is this, um, I like that this doesn't have a mirror, so I don't blind you, this shade right here. So that is actually one of my favorite shades in the palette. And this is now our first shimmer. So there we go. It's looking like a interesting look. My last um, palette bingo, which was yesterday, I'll link it up here. That was also an interesting look. So I'm gonna hit generate again. Hello. And we got number nine, which is the purple. Okay, so this is definitely gonna be a very colorful and interesting look. Um, just set this over here and then I'll swatch the purple. I personally love this purple. I know that some people love it, some people don't. Um, and so, so some people have like an issue with it and some people think it's great. It doesn't swatch the best, but overall I think it's a really good purple. I have, uh, I have swatches and hair color and everything all over me. So yeah, so we're going to do a look with these shades right here. I have no clue what I'm going to do, but we're going to get started. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. All right. And if you're here from um, Emily's channel, welcome. I hope that you will consider sticking around. I do a lot of colorful looks. And if you are from my channel, please go over to Emily's channel, check her out, subscribe, let her know I sent you. I know that you guys will enjoy watching her. She does makeup tutorials, she does hauls. Um, she even went to Starbucks during, like when they had the Ariana Grande cloud, video, uh, cloud frappuccino and did a video about it, like a vlog trying them. 
She's adorable. So that is my MAC white eyeshadow base as always. Um, all right, what to do, what to do. I think I'm gonna start by putting the, gosh, I don't even know. I think I'm gonna start by putting the red shade in my crease. Executive decision. All right, so this is just a Juvia's Place brush still have like mascara from I feel like I can't get all my mascara off sometimes for some reason I wonder if the bad gal bang is waterproof I don't like waterproof mascara and uh I feel like it's more difficult for me to get it off than most mascaras see how that's a little bit more pink when you put it on the actual eyes I don't know so I'm just going to put that all the way across. But like I was saying, yeah, so I'm still going to be doing Blush Tribe week. Um, there will be some videos where you get double, like two videos, one Blush Tribe, one not. And then there will be some days like yesterday where there was only one video and it wasn't Blush Tribe. But I will still... You know, we'll pick up where we left off after I have quite a few collabs, but coming up, I have a Mother's Day collab and um, this collab, and then I have one this weekend. So it'll just be kind of like every other day, maybe, but we're still going to go through all of the different palettes okay so now that we have this down I think the next shade I'm going to go into is the yellow and I'm going to put that above that color I'm glad I didn't get the brown or the shimmery pink I'll tell you that yeah that's good because then the yellow mixed with the Pinky red will kind of even put in a little bit of orange, which will be cool. I'm just going to go all the way around. This is a really pretty yellow. The yellow and the orange in this palette remind me a lot of Sugar Pill. Of like Butter Cupcake and... Butter Cupcake? Buttercream Frosting? I don't know and Flame Point, which is the orange from Sugar Pill, uh, yeah, Sugar Pill. And then the purple, people have compared it to Poison Plum and said that they like Poison Plum better. I personally like this purple better. I don't know. It's just personal preference, I think, but I like Poison Plum, but I just... I like this purple better. So we're kind of going all the way up to the eyebrows today, which I'm all right with. I used to always go up to the eyebrows, but does the heat always kick in when I'm filming? Although I don't think you guys are able to hear it. And I'm gonna spend the rest of the day today relaxing. I'm going to watch a movie. I got a movie on Netflix, like a, an actual DVD. Now I'm going into the purple. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. I actually, I have like the streaming service, but I also have the video service. So I got one called Friend Request the Dark Web. I I think I saw the first friend request movie a few years back and it wasn't terrible. It wasn't the best movie I've ever seen either, but it wasn't horrible. So I watch all scary movies, whether they're terrible or not. <laughs> so I figured and where I, where the purple is meeting the red, I'm kind of just tapping so that I'm not sweeping too much. If I were to sweep more, it might create like a brown because of where they are on the color wheel. So, 
Okay. And with Juvia's Place, I don't feel like you have to actually cut the crease if you don't want to because they are so pigmented. I'm just going to use a glitter glue kind of instead of like a concealer. Just want to make sure I'm happy where that purple is. So I'm going to watch that movie later today. And just kind of relax. It's like a gloomy day outside. And whenever it's like that, I kind of just feel like, meh. Not in a bad way, but just like, you know, you want to be cozy and like snuggle up with your dogs or your cats and just kind of relax. And I know that there's a lot of fallout and it looks like a hot mess at the moment, but we will fix that. So I'm just kind of using this brush to put the glitter glue wherever I would normally put concealer for a cut crease. And then I'm gonna put the green on top of it and then I'll fill in anywhere like you know you know what I'm trying to say reapply any colors that need it this is just a random BH Cosmetics flat shader brush this green is just so good it's such a foiled like metallic green I love it this might not be the best brush to put it on with, but I figured since I already used it for the glitter glue, why not? Do you guys have plans for Mother's Day? We are going to a restaurant that's up the street called Jay Gilbert's that is they have like a they always have a mother's day buffet but it's like um it's a very like kind of bougie restaurant is how i would explain it um and it's but so like they have like you know bagels and salmon and um eggs benedict and like they have tons of different options they have like a crepe station and like a waffle station and all that stuff on Mother's Day for their buffet so that's where my mom wanted to go so that's where we're going and we're going to be going with uh it's going to be me my husband his mom his aunt well she's like his aunt he's known her since he was little and uh she's in town visiting and then my mom and me. Did I say myself twice? Maybe. So, the five of us. My dad is actually out of town. He's doing better physically, but still not great mentally. But he insists on continuing to work, and I guess it's good for him. So I'm going to remove the fallout and then I'm going to do my face and then I'll be right back. Okie doke. So I used my e.l.f. brow pencil. I used my Jeffree Star setting powder, my Jeffree Star concealer. I used my Wet n Wild stick foundation. This one in porcelain. That's my shade. I used a little bit of the um, pinkish red uh eyeshadow mixed with this pink eyeshadow as my blush which is pretty intense and then I used my Wet n Wild Sunset Striptease blush I mean bronzer um yeah and so this is where we're at so we're gonna do the lower lash line and then we are gonna put on some highlight and we'll be done okay so I'm just going to stamp and sweep the purple on the lower lash line I don't get a lot of fallout with these shades. I mean, I know that it looked like I did um, when I did the upper, but that's because I go in really hard, like into eyeshadows. Ooh, I just got some in my eye. Um, so that's totally my fault. 
and I do that with most eyeshadows and I've had a few you know people say just tap off your brush and I totally agree that's a good tip but I just tend to not do that <laughs> I don't know why I just don't um I think it's because I really want like the full pigmentation right off the bat so I don't like to I don't like to tap off my brush so I don't do it but that is definitely a good way to not get fallout is if you tap off your brush my hair I'm getting ready to oh gosh I just I have a brush hair on my face and I can see it out of the corner of my eye but I cannot get it oh I got it okay I'm getting ready no I think I just swept it into my eye I don't know what is going on okay I think I got it um, I'm getting ready to change my hair color um, I can go one of two ways I can go well I can go many different ways but I'm gonna take the shade vice in the 24 7 um, eye pencil from urban decay it's like a dark purple I'm just going to fill in my waterline with that. Um, but I think I'm going to do, I don't know. I think I mentioned in one of my last videos that I saw some like wool at the Sheep and Wool Festival. That was like magenta on top, purple in the middle, and then blue on the bottom, which is how my hair used to be. And I thought about doing that, but then... I went to Sally Beauty Supply and they had this shade called Electric Paradise, which is like a bright neon, like hot pink shade. And it was so pretty that I bought a bottle, even though I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. But part of me, I saw a picture, um, was it in a magazine or was it on Instagram? I don't remember, but I saw a picture of this girl who had hair that was like purple and then it went to like a hot like a kind of like a magenta and then it had like a she had it had she had a like neon hot pink on the bottom and I just thought oh that would be so pretty and I could do that because I have the shades so I really haven't decided but I know that I want multicolored hair at this point instead of just one color Eventually, I want to go back to my natural hair, but I might. I want to make sure I get all of my, all the colors I want to try out of my system before I do that. And I don't think I'll go back to my natural hair permanently. I don't know. I'm forever changing my hair. I'm going to take this um, eyeshadow topper from Milani. It's called Electric Forest, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful, like, aqua minty green. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this on top of part of the green, not all of it, just part of it. It just kind of brightens it up a little bit. And I just, I'm telling you guys, if you are able to get these Milani eye toppers, they, they have them at Walmart and I think they're like $5 if that. And they are so worth the money like they're beautiful and I think that they are so much prettier than the Stila Magnificent Metals like I I I mean I love the Stila ones don't get me wrong but they're not $24 like the Stila ones are $24 and these are just as beautiful and they're like five dollars so I just put on the Morphe setting spray I'm gonna take a little bit of the Kylie Cosmetics one as well because like I said this is like shellac for your face and it's sticky so you know that's what I mean by shellac for your face so it definitely holds your makeup all day I'm gonna go in with the BH Cosmetics dual light highlighter palette I'm telling you for the price, this is literally the best priced highlighter palette. If you like a blinding highlight, get this because it is just stunning. I'm gonna use the shade Top Notch and this Cubius Place highlighter brush. 
you can, I just tapped off my brush, but if I hadn't, like this would be even more blinding. And it's just so beautiful. Like these shades and <clears throat> even the duo ones here are just so pretty. Like all the shades are, see this is, if I hadn't tapped off my brush, it's just stunning. I just love it so much. And I think this palette was like $9. I'm thinking about getting one to put in my next giveaway. As like one of the items. Who knows? And for lips, I'm gonna go in with my Scorpio Moon lip color. I have been using this like crazy. I love it because I feel like it's the perfect color of lipstick when you do a colorful eyeshadow look and you just don't want to do too much on the lips. It is perfect for that situation. And then I'm going to do the lip gloss that I just got in my BoxyCharm on top. I actually really like this gloss and it's not because it's anything special, but it's just not sticky. Like it's just very glossy, glassy, and it just feels moisturizing and it feels good on the lips. The only bad thing is, is that look at how now it has like a pink tint that's from the lipstick. Like it just, just does that. So, um, this is the finished eye look. I really like the way it turned out. I think it looks very crazy and vibrant and that's what I like. So, um, yeah, so that was with the Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. I cannot wait to see what Emily comes up with. And as always, I will be watching her video while you guys are watching this one. So make sure after this video that you go check her out, please, and show her some love. I know that you guys will love her. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.